Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing very well. <clears throat> um, today, we are opening the other shiny Premium Crown Zenith collection box. So today we've got shiny Zama Center. You'll have seen in my previous video that I had the shiny Zation box, so we're gonna do the same again. And um, I would highly recommend checking out the, the Zation one if you haven't actually looked. It's a very good box, very happy with it. So let's get rid of that bit of cardboard. <clears throat> so, We've got, let's just pop this bit of cardboard off everyone. Yes, it did successfully just like the other one, good. So again, as you can see, we have got our figurine, which I think these are really nicely done by the way. These are, these are a premium product, you can tell. These will be going on my shelf. Something a bit different actually. Never had like Pokemon figurines, but maybe that's something to, uh, to actually think about, to be honest. Uh, we get the pin badge as well. I'm sure my door will take this off of me. It's quite nice. Again, very well done. Very, very well done. And of course we get the, let's get rid of the primary card. And of course we get the shiny Zamazenta V, just like the other box, we get the Zation V. Nice cards as well. And they're actually and they're actually textured as well, it's quite cool. Yeah, I like those cards. That we're going on the shelf of my collection. And of course we get our customary sleeves. They're um they're the same actually in both sets. They are the same in both sets. Right. Let's get this out. So, much like the other box, it comes with 12 Crown Zenith Boost packs for, a, for a basically 60 pounds in the UK, uh, which isn't too bad. A little bit more expensive than buying an ETB potentially per pack, but again, you are getting the promo card and the pins and the, um, the figurine as well. So you are paying a little bit extra for that. <clears throat> so we're all here, of course, to watch Booster pack opening, so let's crack on, shall we? We'll put them there, shall we? Go number one. So yeah, um, I hope it did well. It's been a while since I've um, done, a, done Pokemon videos, and I've now done two at once, so I'm jumping the gun to a bit, so to speak. But um, I, I enjoy it in Pokemon cards. I had to slow down a little bit. I think I was just spending just a little bit too much money on them. And um, and as fun as it is, unfortunately, Pokemon cards is quite an expensive hobby. I would always recommend over one. When something comes out, is to buy, you know, however much you feel value wise of cards, like whether it be boosters, ETBs, etc., of what you like for that new set, for instance, and then probably just say that's enough. And if you want the cards that you like, wait a few months, wait till they come down in price. That's not a bad start. Hooper, Reverse Hollow, it's okay. And an Amaris. Oh, Hooper's alright, Hooper's a cool card. Just your normal pack. Yeah, I'd recommend. You, you just start off a little bit and see what you get. Feel the wars to how the, the pull rates are on the set, which I would also recommend by the way. Crown Zenith is just, for me personally, it's been the best set I've ever opened up. And I've opened up like Astral Radiance, etc., booster boxes of Lost Origin, as you've seen in a previous video. And th those for me were a little bit underwhelming. It, there's nothing, there's a great feeling to actually open a a booster box. It's really it's a great 36, but it's just brilliant. But sometimes you just feel a bit underwhelmed when you don't get anything decent, to be honest. Snorunt, Larvesta. <gasps> Everyone, we've got the Reggie Gigas V-Star. Oh, that's a quite a hard card to get, actually. I must admit, I saw the top edge and I was like, okay, it's a V-Star. I was hoping for the Mewtwo, but that's all right. Awesome. Oh. <gasps> And we've got the Dural Adam VMAX as well. What a packet of cards that is, everyone. I didn't realise that was in the set. I need to look at the book more. Oh, what a second pack, everybody. What a second pack. Reggie Gigas and a Dural Adam. Huh. Okay. Well, I know someone that would require the Reggie Gigas to complete their Crown's End of set, so I'm sure we can help that person out. It's another good thing as well. I'm getting stuff that I like, but that I can also trade and like for things that I'd like. <clears throat> There's no harm in trading Pokemon cards for other Pokemon cards that you like. That's how we um, get things we want. Because we're all not lucky. We can't always all pull gold cards and rainbows and secret rare rares. And sometimes we have to just sacrifice some of the cards we like a little bit to get what we like. We've got a Zerud Reverse. That's okay. Just a normal pack of Pokemon cards. I must admit though, recently I have been trading cards heavily. 
I've kind of decided what um, what ones I'd like really. And I've decided I'm going to collect predominantly rainbow cards and gold cards. I really like that style card. I know a lot of people don't like rainbow cards, but for me, I think they're phenomenal. So I've now managed to make myself a collection. Um, if you want to have a look at my collection, actually, or want to talk about Pokemon cards in general anyway, uh, feel free to look at my Discord server. I will put a link in the description of my video because I think I should have done that to before, to be honest. And also, um, feel free to check me out on Twitch as well and watch me do this live collection. I've got the Pikachu. I like that card. It's so happy floating on a leaf. That's cute, that is. I like that. <laughs> Everyone. Everyone. We've got another Jewel Island and VMAX. Why? <laughs> okay. We've got two of them. <laughs> got two of them. Oh no, I dropped it, everyone. I've dropped it. Two from two packets. That Pikachu's nice though. I like that Pikachu. Such a happy Pikachu. I don't think you can go wrong by the way, one. Collecting Pikachu cards, Charizard cards. And also actually, the really popular as well, the Evolutions, which I'm sure for those that went to Pokemon cards, you know the Evolutions are worth lots of money. Some of them. <clears throat> Sometimes it's weird though, I mean I pulled um, a Jolteon from Evolving Skies not long ago, uh, on stream actually, on Twitch, and it's a really nice card, it's just the, the like the Jewel Adam, the rainbow behind it and everything, and just, yeah, look, just a nice card. It was worth like three pounds. I was like, oh. But it was a nice card though, so I, I kept it. <clears throat> like many training cards, gonna keep them separate. And the man that wants Mr. Mimes for memes. Coughing. Oddish. So land it. Oh, everyone got Mel we got Melanie. These boxes are insane. Absolutely insane. Anything behind Melanie? I was being greedy, wasn't I? Pangaro. Well, look at that, look. Melanie cooking some food up, look. That's pretty nice as well. Huh. I like, you know, you know, you know the worst thing, don't you? <clears throat> I'm getting hits out of these boxes. Like things that make me go, ooh. And <clears throat> it's making me feel like I might have to buy some more. <clears throat> Which is probably turning into a bit of a problem because when you know that you can probably get decent cards out of boxes or a set, you're gonna keep doing it. And as I've said before, I've opened so much Crown Zenith. So, so much. But I just love opening this set. I've never been really ever disappointed, as I've said in my previous videos with doing Crown Zenith. I've just, I've just enjoyed it. It's been, it's been fun. And it's nice seeing all the various glaring galleries and stuff and just what you can get. We've got Gloom. Okay, normal pack, it's fine. Cannot complain. Another reverse, which is gonna stick you behind there out of the way. No one wants reverses. We'll get through the packs, everybody. But yeah, Crown Zenith, honestly. I, I used to say Silver Tempest was probably the set to buy if you want to get involved with Pokemon cards, but actually, <clears throat> since Crown Zenith, it's all I've opened and just, yeah, as I've said, just hit after hit, constantly. <clears throat> and also I've had, I believe, probably nearly 10 gold cards, 10 of the secret rares, and it's just, there's no other set that I've opened so far that, <clears throat> excuse me, that that's happened, and it's just, that's just insane. And when you keep getting hits like that, it it, it boosts you a little bit. It's like, ooh, you know, you got stuff, look. Luxury. And an EVV. It's fine. No one's gonna be mad about an EVV. It's EV. Yeah, I like EV. I think my daughter might have this one. I'll have to ask her, because she she collects the evolutions. I will just have to check if she's got that. <clears throat> but if not, I'll keep it for a bit. Right, we're getting through the packs, everybody. That about you, but I'm, I'm enjoying myself with this. I was a bit apprehensive on spending the £120 on, <clears throat> excuse me, on the two boxes. I was like, should I just buy one and just go for it and just buy one and see what happens? Um, yeah, and I was like, ah, oh, I'm there, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just get the two, just because why not? I'm gonna, let's be honest, if I don't get what I want in the first box, I'm gonna go buy the second one anyway, so I might as well just buy two boxes and see what, what wonderful stuff happens. Everyone, I've, I've pulled the Grant Full Art Trainer as well. And a Seal Stone. Not, not the first time I've got a Seal Stone. But I've got a Grant Full Art. Everyone, the Full Art Trainers I'm getting out of these boxes. Nuts. Okay. Okay. Look at the hits we've got so far. One, two, three, four. Two, four, six, seven hits. Seven hits. So that crates are actually a hit a packet so far, I think, or just under. <clears throat> These boxes are madness. 
Right. I wonder if they've been, <coughs> excuse me, if they've been made that way to say everyone gets more than the average hits. Because I always think if you get a hit every other pack, so if you know 10 packs, you get five cards that are decent, like galleries, etc. I don't think you can really be too sad about it. And then anything above that really is a bonus. It's not a bad Radiant Charger bug. It's okay. Radiant Cards are always a good keeper. Would have rather it have been a Radiant Charizard, but eh. Radiant Charger bug's cool. Everyone got two packs left. Two packs left. <clears throat> Hopefully we get something. I'm, I'm secretly hoping for the Mewtwo V-Star. It's the last card I really would like. Only purely because... I got the Charizard from the Ultra Premium Collection. And for those that have seen those cards, Charizard's actually fighting Mewtwo. And so in Crown Zenith, the Mewtwo V-Star is the version of looking at fighting Charizard from Mewtwo's view. And it's a brilliant card. It really is a cool looking... Everyone got another trainer. Another full art trainer. Cynthia's Ambition. Crown Zenith, will you stop, please? And a Zamazenta V as well. Of course there's a Zamazenta in a Zamazenta box. Of course there is, everyone. Huh. This might be better than the first box, actually. Not value-wise, but just I think I've actually got more hits. Nuts. This now means, unfortunately, tomorrow I'm going to have to go buy more of these boxes and just try my luck again. And I really shouldn't. <clears throat> really shouldn't, but I might just go one, one last yeehaw into it. Because who knows? But I've never seen in the flesh though, everyone, the Mewtwo, Mewtwo V-Star. It's eluded everyone. Everyone I've spoken to, they've not seen it. Obviously on their websites and stuff, and eBay, etc. You know, selling places, that you can, you, I've seen them, but not actually in the flesh. I think it'd be so cool to see one. It'd be even cooler to see it in my hand than I own it, because I pulled it. That would be the hope and the dream, but you never know. Let's hope for the last pack magic, as they say. But I, what I've pulled so far, I, I cannot complain. Luxury Reverse. Oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. We've got a Hatterene VMAX. Look at that. Look at that. It's quite a cool card. I love it. I, I, I think it's just a cool card. Well, everyone, that is, again, the collection boxes. Honestly, I've, I've had two of them. Please check out my video. I would highly recommend you at least buy one for yourselves because we've got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven hits. That technically works out at a hit a packet. That's nuts. That is nuts. This is insane. Not the highest value cards, I'll admit, on these ones. With the you know, with the, the trainers, I mean they're they're probably like having like ten pounds each, maybe a little bit more, depending on popularity. Um the Reggie Gigas is quite hard to get. I know someone's gonna want that. I've got two Jewel Adams in a row. In a row. Well that again everyone, it's been a great opening. So um I thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourselves, and I hopefully will upload some more Pokemon content soon when um, some more stuff gets released. I may purchase some more of these boxes because they've got me a little bit hooked. I'm not going to lie, but we'll, we'll we'll see what happens. So everyone, again, sincerely thank you very much for watching. Please leave comments on things I can improve, likes if you enjoyed yourself, but I oh yeah. And as I said, there'll be a link in the description below for my Discord server if you want to come show me the cards you've got chat Pokemon cards or games in general, I feel free, feel free. So everyone, until next time, goodbye. And thank you again.